side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the three. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 35. Golden Eagles and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. midfield gets out to around the 45 I like how efficient the offense looked on that play everybody knew their assignment and it all came together for a nice run from the 45 yard line first down gets to about the 44 yard line Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. At the 15-yard line, the defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. Seven yard line. That makes it second and two. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's tackled around the five yard line. Another carry for this kid, and he'll get the first down. He's carrying this offense on his back right now. And I think they'll keep giving him the ball until the defense figures out a way to stop him. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down right around the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. move and he scores and he hits the PAT a 10 play 64 yard drive and they come away with seven points so the score now seven nothing the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Ridgeway takes it to 15. 
And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in the 34. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. the 42-yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. This is the eighth play of this drive. to about the 27-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, Golden Eagle. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's on the run. He's taken down at about the 11. And this is the 10th play of the drive. but he can't shake the defense. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle made at the two-yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. And they got all the big boys in there for this one. 
They'll bring him down at the one. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And it pays off. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 13-play, 69-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. They get a tie game at 7-7. Tillman ready to kick. Tackle made the 39-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clippy. Offense. Flipping is the call, Still and now they'll have down. to find a way to make up those yards right here. So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. He fights forward to about the 33. midfield and he shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line that's always a big blow to a defense to give up a long run like that you'll see a lot of those guys hanging their head first and ten following that big run it in a hurry and he's level at the 21 that brings up second and one got an opening inside the 10 he's in for the touchdown such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy and he converts the extra point and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff Ridgeway takes it to 15, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He scrambles. He gets three yards on that scramble. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield, 
and didn't let the quarterback get away. In the shotgun and five wide out. Get to that quickly. He's to the 40, and they make the stop around the 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Now he tries to buy some time. Ball is loose. Fumble. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes at the 15. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's got the touchdown. on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Ridgeway takes it to 15. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory, and you want to take a chance, and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that, and I get it. But when you're in your own territory, and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering the fun would make me so happy. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 40. Short over the middle. He's hit and taken down. Pruitt picks up about four yards with a catch. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Mayo awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Golden Eagles offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. Offense, and who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Caught. Tackle around the 42-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he hits him hard at the 19. The spike will stop the clock. From the 19-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. 
Steps out of bounds right around the 16 yard line. That makes it 37. He gets it up, and it is good. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They go to the ground game. Brought down at the 28. We've played a half of football here. The Golden Eagles lead it by 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was a complete mismatch. We did not expect a margin like this. Now the question becomes, not only are you down on the scoreboard, David, but you're down mentally. What kind of toll does a beating like this team took in the first half have on your psyche? Well, when you come into a game and, and you're favored or it's supposed to be a really close contest and then all of a sudden you start getting kicked around, I think the first thing is, do I belong? <laughs> Am I really as good as I thought I was? And they got a second half to come out and prove it. But right now, they've had no answers whatsoever. Everything has gone the other way. Everything's gone poorly. Everything's gone bad. So if they're going to turn this around, they better start believing that they belong and come out in the second half and start making some plays. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Golden Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The halfback picks up a yard. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Here comes the pressure. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at the 32. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Mayo to punt. And he's tackled at the 44. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. They run left and he'll lose yardage.
from their own 42-yard line. It's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Offensive line's got to give him some time. He takes it at the 12. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. It's been a very well-rounded effort for this entire team, not just the defense. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. They hand it off. They'll knock him down for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike and he drops it. Ruffledge was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 11. Mike Four, Mike Four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 15 yard line. No gig on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. Mayo is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it so it's second two. down and about two yards to go. Run left side. He makes it to the 35 yard line. No game. That makes it third and three. Two tight, two tight. Here he goes. He's taken down around the 27 yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 14 yard line. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Just throws this one away. throw got him anyway and he tackles him hard at the 44 yard line from their own 44 yard line third down scrambling around and down he goes at the 46 We head to the fourth. The Golden Eagles with a 24-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. He's going to air it long. Intercepted. Gets past the tackler. And he's leveled at the 33-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. First down. Steps out around the 47 yard line. Call it again, two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 47. Run, 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 run. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. First down. Number 35, the intended receiver of the play. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. He fights forward to about the 36. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Intercepted. That was a strange decision. I have absolutely no clue why they're trying a pass play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 10. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The kick is up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Golden Eagles have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The lights went out a long time ago, for one of these teams anyway. They'll be put out of their misery soon. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. Tackle at the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Ridgeway picks up six yards with that grab. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Mayo is the punter. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee.
The Golden Eagles coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.